Hi folks, Shafiq here again, your mega awesome runner and today we'll be continuing our Garmin 4 Runner 220 Masterclass and explaining how to set it up for interval training. As we all know, interval training consists of running at high intensity and then low intensity for a set number of times. It's invaluable, especially if you're training for a race or just want to improve your overall general fitness. Setting up your 4 Runner 220 for intervals is super easy to do, so let's check it out. Okay guys, so we're here with our 4 Runner 220. Uh, setting up for interval training can actually be done in three different ways. You can do it based on time, based on distance, or even a combination of both. So I'll be giving you examples on how to do them on all three different ways. So, the first one, based on time, okay? So what we do from the main screen, we go down and then select training. And then from here, go further down and select intervals. And that will take you to the interval training main dashboard. At the moment, as you can see, I've got a training session set up there for a one mile high intensity run, followed by a two mile recovery repeated six times. So let's say, for example, you wanted to do a one minute intensity run, high intensity run, should I say, followed by a three minute recovery. So how do we do that? So what we do is we go down and select edit. And then you have a series of steps to complete. So the first one will be intervals. Interval meaning your high intensity portion of the, the training session. So we'll select that. And at the moment, like I said, it's set to one mile. So we change that and to go down to type. At the moment, like I said, it's set to distance. So we change that to time. And then go back up and change the duration. Change that to one minute. Okay, okay, and then we go back, and that's, so that's the interval, the high intensity part of it set up, and then for the low intensity or the recovery or rest period, go down, select rest, and select again. There it's set to two miles, so we go down, change the time from distance to time, and then go up. And the distance, uh, sorry, so, the, so the, the, the rest duration is then changed to one minute. So we want to change that. Change that to three minutes, zero seconds, and select on that. And so that's the setup, and then go back. So that's the recovery portion of it set up. And then your repetitions. So at the moment, they set as repeat six times. So we'll change that and we'll say, let's say, change that to five times. Okay. And then you've got two uh, optional, uh, optional um, choices. So if you go down, you've got the warm up, which is set to one. I'd always recommend you do a warm up and uh, so, you know, to, to prevent injuries and things like that. So I'll always leave that as on. And then go down, you've got a cool down, which is default, is set to off. That's entirely up to you whether you want to include that or not. Uh, I'll leave that as it is. And that's pretty much it. So you then go back. So that's set up, as you can see at the top, five one minute high intensity runs followed by three minute recovery in between each one. So all we then do is the do workout option is already selected. So you just press the start button. And it will say start the timer to begin workout and you just simply press start and then because we've got the warm-up option enabled it's now saying that okay now commence your warm-up and then once you want to start your high intensity runs just press the lap button at the bottom right here so if you press that your high intensity runs then start to commence so what as you can see there now it's now counting down one minute and at the top it's showing you what repetition uh, you're on there. So once you get to like five seconds left, the, four, the your watch will start to beep and vibrate and then your rest period will begin. And then it then just repeats basically uh, five times as, 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 as shown there. So that's pretty much it really, how you set it up for time. Uh, let's, know, let's go and set, show you how you set it up for distance. Okay, so let's show you how to set up the watch for interval training based on distance. Really easy to do. All you do is, again, from the main screen, go down to menu and then select training. 
and then intervals again. As you can see at the top, have, uh, my, my training session is set based on time. So we'll go down there, go edit. So let's say we want to do half a mile high intensity followed by a uh, two mile recovery period. So our interval there is set to one minute. So we uh, go there, oops, sorry. Select the interval, sorry. And then go down to type, change that to distance. And then go back up and then change that from half a mile, so 50. Okay, and then go back up and then your rest period. So that's set to three minutes. So we want to change that to distance again. And then your duration is quarter of a mile there. So we want to change that to two zero zero. Okay. Yep, that's okay. And then you, your repetition. So again, that's up to you how, how often you want to repeat that. So we'll leave that as far. We're okay with that. Again, your warm up, it's optional if you want to do it or not. In this case, as, as just, you know, just for demonstration purposes, I'll just set it as off. So there'll be no warm up and there'll be no cool down. And then we go back. So that's it. As you can see at the top, it's got half a mile, high intensity run followed by a two mile recovery rest period. And all we do, just click on do workout and start. Say so start begin, uh, start the timer to begin workout. Once you're ready, obviously just click on the start button and that will it, start running without the warm up. Obviously warm up is important, like I've said before. Uh, and so that's pretty, that's pretty much it, how you set it up for um, for, for interval training based on distance. Uh, so let's show you how you can do it based on a combination of both. Okay guys, so for the last example, how to set it up on a combination of both. So let's say for example, you wanted to run um, one mile at high intensity, followed by a 10 minute recovery. Uh, so how we do that, from the main screen, go to menu, select training, again, go further down, select intervals. So we'll go down to edit on that. And then so our interval is set at half a mile. So we edit that, change the duration to one mile, select. And obviously it sets it to, one, to, to distance area anyway, and then go down to rest. And you wanna change that type to time, go up, change the duration, you want to change that to 10 minutes, zero seconds, and then OK, go back, how many times you want to repeat that, so we'll just leave that as five, do you want to warm up, we'll leave that as off, cool down, off as well, and Again, that is it, busy, basically. You go back there and then you're ready to start your workout. As you can see, and then just click on start and then start again, and then the workout will commence. As you can see, you know, it's pretty flex flexible in terms of the combinations on which you can set your 4Runner 224 interval training. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you found the video useful. Any comments or questions, please leave them below the video. Uh, and that's me, Shafiq Khan, signing off, your m m m m m mega awesome runner. Until then, see you next time.